Hey everyone, Tom here. Um, might be jumping the gun a little bit, but I decided to get some peas. Get some peas in the ground today. So I saved um, I saved seed from last year. So I'm gonna try planting those first, and we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna plant too many because it is still pretty early for for where I live, but. You know, I'll throw throw a few in the ground and see what happens. If we get another big cold snap, then they're probably not going to make it. But the weather looks pretty good for the next little bit here. So what I've started with is I've built this trellis. Just with these two stakes and chicken wire. It'd be nice if I had four foot chicken wire rather than just these kind of two foot wide, but I could always add on some more maybe later. Um, and I just got these sticks kind of weaved through there. It's made a pretty nice trellis at the back. So I'm going to get some seeds in and then I'd like to, I'd like to close the whole thing around because we have a lot of rabbits and they seem to leave pretty much everything else alone but they devour the pea shoots as soon as they come up out of the ground they'll uh, they'll make their way into the bed and they'll just chew them down to nothing so yeah so I definitely need to protect protect those little pea shoots um, keep them keep them closed in so let's put some in the ground all right Got my little baggie of saved seeds, which I don't have that many, because honestly, I didn't want to. I didn't want to stop eating them, <laughs> so I didn't leave that many pods on the uh, on the vine or whatever you call it to uh, to dry and and you know save seed from. This year I plan on plan on growing a lot more peas. So I'm hoping I'll be able to I'll be able to save more this year. So I'm planting them just about an inch deep. Because um, it's quite early. The soil is only gonna be warm enough hopefully warm enough um, just in that top layer if it was later on in the season you could go a little deeper because it would be warmer further down and I like to plant peas very close together basically an inch apart uh, really load them in there they never seem to be too crowded for me um, it's not like other seeds where, you know, carrots and lettuce and those little kind of seeds where it's, if you don't thin them out, you know, or if you're, unless you're really careful with how you put the seed in, um, yeah, peas, uh, I've never had them too close together. So don't worry about the spacing if you're planting peas. So these are snap peas. I like snap peas more than shelling peas. I find uh, just get kind of more bang for your buck. I mean, shelling peas are great too, but if you only have a small little area to grow peas, I'd uh, I'd recommend uh, snap peas because. You can eat the whole pod, right? So you just get more, like I said, it seems like more bang for your buck. So I've just done just that little tiny section there. That's all I'm gonna do for now. It's kind of tempting to plant way more than you need. You kind of gotta resist the urge and just do a little bit at a time, especially early on in the season. And uh, that way you can do succession sowing. You 
know, so a few now, wait a week or two, so another, you know, row, and then you get a, just a better harvest I've found. So yeah, I'm just going to throw some water on these and try and figure out how I want to close the rest of this bed in. Alright, so it's been about a week since I put those peas in. Um, still nothing has come up yet, but I'm just going to keep uh, keep going and throw in some more. Um, basically going to use up all these ones that I saved. And I should have left a little marker because I don't remember where I, <laughs> where I ended off. I'm dropping peas. Tom's peeing on the ground. That's okay if I get some overlap. It's uh, it's not the end of the world. Just gonna do a nice row all the way down. So I'm really gonna intensively plant peas this year. Um, I'd like to have this uh, this bed is uh, jam-packed as possible with peas. so important in life that we find uh, that one thing that just, I don't think it's so much happiness, it's more just it's just something that you just, you kind of feel like you're meant to do. squeaking and rustling back there a little mouse or something um, but yeah it just it's so important we find that one thing that just we never get sick of it that it's it's that thing that's kind of meditative or when we're doing it we're just kind of in the zone and we're just relaxed and the world you know feels okay in that little moment it's uh you know, life is good. I found that with gardening. I'm so, so very grateful. Anyway, just gonna get the rest of these peas in the ground here, throw some water on them, and we'll keep checking back on them, and we'll keep planting more. Take care, guys. Bye.